close your eyes and notice when you breathe in where you feel the breath. When you breathe out, where do you feel the breath? Let your attention focus right there, all the way through the in-breath, all the way through the out. Try not to think of anything else. If any other thoughts come up, just let them go. You don't have to follow them. As for the noises outside, just let them go, too. You don't have to get involved. You just stay with your breathing, coming in going out. You want to be able to get some control over your mind to tell it what to think about, what not to think about. And so right now, tell it to think about the breath. You can ask yourself, is your breath comfortable? Would longer breathing be more comfortable or shorter breathing? Give it a try. Deeper or more shallow? Try to see what kind of breathing feels good for the body right now. This gives the mind a place where it can stay and it can watch itself in the present moment. We spend so much of our time watching the world outside. It's good to turn around and watch your own mind for a bit to see what it's doing, what it's thinking about, and whether it's thinking about things you really should be thinking about or not. And who says should here? Well, the Buddha says if you want to put it into, ha into suffering, there's some, some things you should think about and other things you shouldn't. You shouldn't get involved in greed and, avert, and anger and delusion. Those are things you want to put aside. Because even though they may create some pleasure in the short term, they can create some suffering in the long term. So you don't want to get involved in those. So if you notice that the mind is thinking about things it shouldn't think about, you want to give it something better to think about. So we get practice thinking about the breath. So you get interested in the breath. The breath is the energy in your body that allows you to live. It's the air coming in and out of the lungs, but it's also the flow of energy in the body that allows that air to come in and out. Without that energy, there would be no air coming in and out. You'd be dead. So you want to look at this force of life in you to make sure that it's in good shape. This gives you something better to think about in any situation. This is a skill you can carry with you wherever you go. When you find the mind is getting out of control, just focus on the breath, calm it down by calming the breath down first. And this gives you a handle on your mind. Because if you don't have a handle on your mind, other people will try to get a handle on it, try to make you want the things they want to sell you or hate the people that they hate. And you don't want to have to follow along with them. You want to be your own independent person. You want to be in charge of what you're thinking about, what you're thinking, and what you're feeling. So it takes some time to get more in charge of what you're doing. Stay right here with the breath. That way the mind can gain some control not only over itself, but also over your life. Because your life is shaped by your actions, and your actions come out of your mind. If your mind is in bad shape, your actions are going to be in bad shape. Then your life will be in bad shape, too. So start with your mind. Get your mind under control. And you'll find that other things in life will begin to clear up as well. <laughs>